How did Mac Jones respond to his big opportunity? Well, good morning, Ryan. One member of the team described what Mac did yesterday as special. The Giants were really complimentary. We charted every pass. We had him 35 of 40. He had 18 straight completions at one point. And, you know, Ooh. Ryan, it's like a balance when you're watching it. In one respect, you're thinking to yourself, we're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. <laughs> uh, but at the same time, this one, this one had some buzz to it. We had John Bon Jovi here. The Giants were here. Fans were here. And Mac did rise up to the moment. And there was one moment that I want to highlight. He led the Patriots at the end of practice Two-minute drill to a touchdown, 80 yards down the field. He's kneeling on the sideline after the drill. Bill Belichick comes over, extends his hand. Maybe it's a high five, maybe it's a low five, whatever you want to call it. You know when Bill Belichick does that, it's a job well done. Yeah, any, any show of appreciation or success by Bill Belichick means you're doing the right thing. So what's the feeling in New England about where things stand with the quarterbacks? Well, Ryan, in honor of our good colleague, our good friend, Sal Palantonio, I picked up two newspapers for you to give you a feel for what's going on in the region here. We've got the Boston Herald with Big Mac, and we've got the Boston Globe telling us that with Newton absent, Patriots rookie taking advantage of his opportunity. And then you flip it to the Boston Herald here. Mac makes his case. Your move, Bill. And we're all going to be watching this morning at practice with Cam back to see if Cam's back in that number one spot. I have a feeling this is going to be a big day in determining who wins that quarterback spot there in New England. Mike Reese, thank you so much. Great reporting, as always. Appreciate it. Now, let's bring back in the guys. And, and guys, Lewis, I'll start with you because I, I, you know, I can't believe I'm actually asking this, but do you feel like this is now Mac Jones' job to lose? I don't know if it's his job to lose, but I would say this. I think it's definitely a toss-up, okay? Because I, I, know, I know a little bit about how Bill views these kind of situations and how he really is a bottom-line individual, and he doesn't really care about public sentiment. He doesn't care about what I think, you think, what the fans think. He really does try to look at things objectively. And the guy removes feelings from his decision-making better than maybe anybody in the history of the game. I saw him do it in Cleveland when I was there, when he moved on from Bernie Kosar and put Vinny Testaverde into the lineup, and that was the right move. You know, obviously, he did it with, with Drew Bledsoe and Tom Brady when Drew lost his job due to injury, and Tom came in and took over. And right now, the fact that the door has been open for Mac this early, in the early part of this week to go ahead and be the only guy, the focal point of this offense, without Bill having to compare him to Cam Newton – does bode well for mm. Mac Jones because it, it, I mean, that's the only thing that Bill has had to concentrate on and the only thing that he's had to look at. And look, I, I'm not going to sit here and try to predict, you know, how he really feels about this, given the fact that there's a body of work that has been put together throughout the course of training camp. But I also know this, you know, Bill wants to see you demonstrated on the practice field before you put you in a game. That's the only thing you can do. That's how you win jobs. You know, you have to show coaches that you can do it in practice, in organized scrimmages before they put you in the game. And the way Max playing right now, what's to stop him from putting him in the game? That's a great point. And, Chris, you talked about this earlier in our meeting. Mac Jones is there. Yeah. Mac Jones is a guy who's actually doing the thing in practice. And all due respect to Cam Newton, there was obviously a misunderstanding about leaving the facility and that led to him not being able to come back in and practice this week. But that's presenting a big problem for him. No question about it. I mean, the way it works in the NFL, Ryan, is if you're in the middle of a position battle and you have to miss some time, that works against you. And with Cam dealing with the COVID violating the protocols, I mean, he's missing opportunities in practice to be evaluated by Bill Belichick and by the staff in the middle of this competition. And then you have to think back to last year when Cam Newton had to miss some time because he was out with COVID. And you start to wonder whether or not Cam's absences erode the trust that he's built up with Bill Belichick. I mean, mm -hmm. one of the things about the way Bill Belichick operates is you have to be reliable. He has to be able to trust you. And when it comes to this particular thing, I mean, Cam leaves a little something to be desired, and Mac Jones, so far throughout the preseason, has answered every single question. And to Lewis Riddick's point, I mean, the, the practices and what you've seen from Mac Jones in games has been an extension of what he's done throughout the preseason. So, again, it's another one of those things that builds confidence for Bill Belichick for Mac Jones being able to go out there and do his job. And, Adam, it's a difficult situation because, again, it's hard to know exactly what happened, what this misunderstanding was that led to Cam Newton not being there, but it certainly has opened up an opportunity for Mac Jones. Well, the misunderstanding is pretty simple. It obviously had to do with testing of the vaccine and being that 
he had to be tested every day because he's unvaccinated. So whatever it is, there's an issue there. But when we get beyond that, here's what you have to remember anyway. Mac Jones was making a push for the starting job anyway. That was before this week. And then this week happens, and Bill Belichick himself comes out and says, essentially, like everybody knows, the greatest ability is availability. Mac Jones is available. Cam Newton is not. So it's five more days for Mac Jones to continue to impress Bill Belichick. Now, ultimately, Bill's got to make the decision about when is the right time to turn to Mac Jones. Mac Jones is going to wind up as the starting quarterback. The only question is when does Bill Belichick make the decision to turn to him and how soon? Is that week one? Is that week three? Is that week five? We don't know. Bill knows that. But Mac Jones' time in New England as the starting quarterback for the short and long term is coming, and it's probably coming sooner than people realize. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.